Okay, <laughs> welcome Kelvin45 to the lineup review. We're going to be taking a look at this uh, uh, pyramid, turret, ship. What's it it's called? A diamond turret platform. It's, it's a diamond, the diamond platform. The diamond platform. Obviously, a lot of Pentas and Tentras were killed in the making of this ship. <laughs> but no, it's really nice. Though. Yeah, it is. It's really nice. And it is smooth. When the lighting is sorted, you'll be uh, looking at a really pretty ship there. Um, interesting cannons you've got there. All of the cannons. Give me all of the cannons. Interesting. I think that'll be really nice when we get new AMCs. You're going to have a lot of fun with this thing once that changes. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's a beautiful ship. So it's the diamond... Diamond turret, what was it? The, the diamond platform. It's just the yeah. diamond platform, right? It I'm makes sure. a perfect diamond when all of the turrets are sitting at the original docking place. Is it level right now? Uh, make sure. Yes, it is. Huh. Okay, cool. So in that case, I'm going to take a look inside. I think we've all figured that. Yeah, these are in fact turrets which are completely filled. Um, and inside we've got a whole bunch of power, a whole bunch of engines, obviously it's uh, two symmetry planes at least. All um, symmetry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all, give me all the symmetry bro. <laughs> and uh, then we're going to move down, we've got some structure. There's the core and the block, so you've got a nice view of all of your engine uh, and reactors. So nice, you know, nice, nice little design inside here. I mean, I know it's just an interior, but if if you want to have that exposed interior, there's there's visuals here. So it's nice. Kind of looks mostly like a, for battle, but yeah. yeah it it kind of looks like um, some kind of weird digital cathedral. <laughs> it's quite cool. I mean, I've seen stuff like this, but most people just make a cube. And um, obviously, this isn't a cube. It's actually a little bit of... It's got more thought into it than usual. Obviously, you've got all the symmetry. I can see that. But that's that's a nice thing sometimes, to do a project. Because you've still got to keep a lot in mind. So, ooh. Interesting choice of thruster positioning. Um, right. Yeah, this is the design without all the shielding in it, so you could actually see the entered part of these ships. So I had to actually do that to get it here. <laughs> Got ya. Well, it's the, a really nice ship. I mean, does it actually have anything that shoots other than turrets, or? It's just a um, mobile turret platform. You move turrets. into the sector and you spin, and everything dies around you. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. You used the spin attack. It was super effective. Yeah, the core of it, with the shielding, um, how it's supposed to be, is supposed to, has about eight million shielding. Right now, it only has two because everything's exposed, so you can see it. But yeah, yeah. Well, thanks for not putting the shielding in, so I had some way of seeing what was in there. Because for the record, every go it goes invisible, so it's actually quite helpful sometimes to leave some things, some bits out, so that we've got something to show everyone. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so I get that and I appreciate it. So, yeah. So, have fun filling it in with shields. I'm going to say goodbye to you and move on to finding the next next guy. So, thanks, Kelvin. If you'd like to tell us the name of your ship one more time. Uh, the Diamond Platform. The Diamond Platform. Right. If you'd like to fly away. And yeah. uh, I'm going to get on to the next guy in the line. So, thanks again everybody for watching so far. There will be a short break after this next ship and then we'll be continuing with the ships in the line.